Hey you guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and you know I love built-in cabinets. So I'm gonna show you today how to style a cabinet or bookshelf or built-in like this, um, my whole process from start to finish. So stay tuned for more. Alrighty, while you're here, of course, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of when my next videos are live. We are gonna dive into the shelf styling cabinet styling situation. Built in China cabinets have become kind of like a signature thing for me. In pretty much all my designs, I've put something um, built into the kitchen that has storage that is visible and then storage that is hidden. We had one in our last house that was in that riffs on white oak and I love it and I miss it, but it's okay. We will um, just keep adding them to our other projects and then that will help me get through it. <laughs> This one, um, I love the arch detail. I drew a sketch of this and then Prestige Cabinetry was able to build um, my from my little drawing I made. And it's a great showpiece and a great place to store like your dishes and things like that. But I wanted to run through kind of like the stuff that I do when I am going to style a cabinet so that it kind of gives you guys a little formula to use as well. The first thing that I do is I like to kind of plan uh, more or less a color scheme. It's not like you need everything to be too matchy, but I kind of like having um, a general sense of, of where I'm going. I mean, if your style is eclectic and you want things bright and colorful, then you don't necessarily have to have, um, you know, a, a color scheme, but that would be the style. In this case, I wanted something a little more subdued and they just kind of complemented the colors I had going on in my kitchen, which is that really fun gray green tone. So I'm gonna bring a little bit of that in here. And then I also wanted to bring a little bit of woven texture because I love that as well. And then always a little bit of black and white too, just so that it's kind of classic and clean and has that high contrast. We're gonna start with this bottom shelf here and I'm gonna bring in this fun piece, which is um, that greenish color I was mentioning. It's kind of a cool texture. A uh, little pot and then I got these if you guys remember I got these little cutting boards um, from the dollar store and I'm gonna use these as serving little serving boards they're really cute um, to kind of add height um, and they bring in that natural wood tone that I was saying like kind of natural woven texture um, just like these and then it gives us a little height for this um, pot here I think on this one too I'm gonna bring um, some white and a little different shape this lidded vase jar thing um, is one of my favorites and this comes in a few different sizes so i have this one um, you might have seen it in some of my other designs because it's just so classic and it goes with everything so i think that that's going to be a good little accent here to bring some height for the next shelf i have the coolest dishes i got these recently i'll link them for you guys i love these because they're white on the outside so really neutral but the inside has that gorgeous green color again it's just really really fun we're going to bring these in here and don't be afraid to when you are shelf styling to move things around you're not gonna just probably set it down and it's perfect the first time kind of like adjust and play with it until you feel like it's balanced and has the look that you want let the design happen naturally all right and here's the other plates from this um, same collection and I kind of want there to be a little bit more of the green showing so I'm gonna take one of these plates and just put it um, up like this and sometimes changing that positioning um, mixes things up too gives a little bit um, a little more height and dimension and depth so that's kind of one of the things probably the second step would be to look for ways that you can kind of um, layer pieces so for instance like this stacked here and then these um, they kind of have a layering effect when you have one at the back and some in front so then you have some depth and dimension to your shelves another thing that i love for like layering and getting that that layered look is books and most of us have books around um, so this is a great way to use them um, and display them so that they're you know both functional and decorative here's another piece that has that natural wood and woven texture um, accent that I had mentioned. I love it because it has a unique shape and then it has um, just interest with the, the texture as well. So this is something that's perfect for going on top of these um, books there. And then for the top shelf, I kind of want um, something with height because we have a little bit more height with that arch going up. 
And this is a new piece. I recently did a collaboration with Joss and Maine and it will be on my blog this Friday. So look for that. This piece is such a fun one. It's got the wood and uh, it's like a painted black wood. So it's really matte feeling, but I love that it also has that texture and kind of a unique shape. And that's gonna be the perfect way to add some height. If I can reach up there. So that one brings in that bold black that I said, like with the contrast, um, so that we have some of the lighter tones and then just that pop, just like I did with the light fixtures in this home where they're that matte black and it just kind of uh, gives a modern edge to the design. Now we're gonna flip over to this other side. And usually um, once I have a side done like this, I can kind of play off of that for this side. So I'm gonna pull, um, like I said, some of the same tones and mix them in on this side so that there's a sense of balance. So that's my third thing, um, is look for balance when you place the items. Basically, for me, what that means is both in the like shapes of the items so that you don't have like one section. Like for instance, this feels a little bit more heavy because it has a lot of pieces. So we wanna have something that kind of balances it out on this side that either mimics the shape or has a similar um, feel so that, that you kind of have them placed. Um, and I, I usually don't place it right next to it. You're gonna to wanna to go either here or here. Something that balances that and something that balances, you know what I mean? So I'll kind of almost like zigzag it. You're gonna see what I'm talking about here in a second, but balance is really important. To create that balance on this side, I'm gonna take these bowls that are the smaller version of that set. They're from that same dish collection. And, um, and it's totally fine to break them up a little bit and put them on two different shelves because it helps tie it together. And you know, they're just as easy to grab over here as they are there, so it's still practical. So these books here um, are actually some from, well, go check out my dollar store video. They're from the dollar store. That will give us a little height for this vase so that we have like I was saying, kind of a little bit of balance from that other side. And you'll see too that these, these books are the bright white, and then this is the bright white, and then this is kind of a warm white, and this is a warm white. And I don't mind mixing those colors, like creams and white tones. Some people are afraid of that, but I do it all the time. And as long as they kind of have somewhere that they tie in together, it all feels really great. Um, and I think it's just kind of like layering neutrals, which is a win in my book. That's like one example, how we have bright white, bright white, bright white, and then a little bit of the green mixed in so far. So we're gonna wanna, um, of course, mix that throughout. And I'm gonna use this gray, this gray here too. I think I forgot to mention that in my color scheme, but I kind of have the gray in there as well. All right, and then here is uh, another fun addition that has that warmer white and then that natural wood. We're gonna bring that down here. So this is another example where you can see natural wood, natural wood, natural wood. So we have that kind of zigzag effect. I would say number four, my number four tip is probably uh, look for that zigzag because it helps move your eye through the shelf. I think I've talked about that before in my um, office shelf styling video is just kind of, you want it to your eye to kind of move through. Uh, and so going back and forth makes it feel really cohesive um, with the balance thing too. I wanna to bring something too that ties in as we're speaking about that, that that bold pop of black. And so I think here is the perfect spot because it kind of is spaced apart and then we'll have some of that bold color on both sides. And this little guy is just the ticket. It's actually pretty heavy because it's metal. And I love the, these kinds of sculptural pieces because they're interesting and they just add um, a lot of, like I guess it's dimension and movement to them because they're kind of, they look different from different sides that you're standing on. So it keeps it interesting and then um, you can kind of see how that ties in there and, and gives us that modern look that I still like to have. Even though I love things that are classic and kind of have an aged feel to them, um, I also like to have a little bit of a modern um, look to it too. And this bowl is one of my favorites. It's just really cool. It reminds me of a sand dollar because it has those little marks and its texture is very similar. Um, this is like a matte. This is gonna be tying in again our bright white so that we have um, kind of down there and then down here with the books. So we have that one kind of carrying through. And then my very last pieces for the top are gonna be another thing that adds height. These guys are um, a little happy family. They are the same. And I like to do that to have uh, kind of a similar element when I'm 
doing shelves. Kind of just something where there's a repetitive shape, either the exact same item twice or something that is like one big, one small. Um, it kind of gives your eye a little bit of a break uh, because it's it's something that it recognizes as familiar. They're the same, same color tone, same shape, even though one's a little bit bigger and a little larger. You know, I talked about this gray down here. This is what I'm gonna use to tie in the gray up here. So these guys are, if I could do this, going up here. That would be, um, another tip is a use a little bit of repetition. And that would be a perfect example of that, where you have a repetition in shape. Over here too, I think this is important to talk about. I also love to do like a shelf that's really simple. So we have these ones that have a lot going on, but then there's one that's just this bowl. And that kind of just helps break it up and give you a little bit more, um, another kind of like a rest for your eye. And then just making them all feel a little bit more, I don't know, like you can breathe a little bit more airy. Cause this one, this one too is a good standalone piece because it's kind of bold. So we have a single item one on each and then, um, you know, just kind of a, a good mix of other shapes and layering. Shelf styling is fun and I love it. And um, I hope you guys love it too. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when our next video is live. Let me know if you have thoughts on shelf styling. Maybe you guys have your own formulas too. This is just kind of how I do mine is looking for those kind of key things as I'm putting stuff together so that we get a lot of balance and interest and then that play on similar color tones to keep it um, where it doesn't feel overwhelming to the eye. Also, fun fact, really exciting video coming next. We are gonna do our flip home walkthrough and Ben's gonna see it in person for the first time. He's only seen a few pictures. So that will be interesting and also a little bit intimidating. That's gonna be exciting for all of us, hopefully.